Hello, welcome. I'm Simon Vaness. I'm the managing director of Micros Animation. I'm here today to introduce you to the team that has worked in Micros Animation on SpongeBob, Sponge on the Run. <gasps> that could be my breath. Just to give you a few words about the film by itself, the film was directed by Tim Hill a very known author in the Spongebob universe as he was a screenwriter of a lot of the episodes that we all love. What is it about? It's about a snails getting kidnapped. It's about love. It's about friendship. It's about stupid. It's all about Spongebob. We as a studio, we are very glad to jump on this film, not only to do another Spongebob, because we love Spongebob, uh, but also because it was the first one uh, where the target was set to uh, put it in the CG universe and using CG techniques to bring uh, Spongebob to life. That has not been just a question of translating that to the CG, to giving some perspective, etc., but really to stay true to the original material, to stay true to the kindness, to the stupidity of the characters, to the animation style, to the look, to the feel of what Spongebob is and will continue to be. Okay, now it's time to meet the team and to start to get some insider comments on how we did this film, what's the magic of the recipe to uh, bring Spongebob to this new feature experience. Jack, it's up to you. Hey, I'm Jack Daigle. I was the animation supervisor on the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. <laughs> My name is Guillaume Ducef. Uh, j'étais Si j'y suis pour la partie animation et caractère sur le film Bob l'éponge, éponge en nos troubles, mon travail consistait à accompagner les départements dont je m'occupais, à savoir le modeling caractère, rigging, euh, animation, CFX, crowd sur le film. My name is Mathieu Rouxel. I was a CG supervisor on SpongeBob the, the movie. So I was mostly involved on the look dev of the characters and then uh, supervising the lighting team and the compositing team. I love my life! So supervising this movie was filled with challenges. Uh, we really needed to make sure that this stayed true to the original story, this, the original characters in the world that was already created a long time ago. So that needed a lot of studying and uh, learning the ways of an already established style and approach to the film, uh, to just to stay true to what it was. My greatest pride on, the, on this project is probably the, the, the work we did on the characters, uh, because they are really different uh, from each other. They all had their own challenges, and uh, I think they are all re very respectful to what they were in the, in the 2D show. We needed to find out who these characters were, and uh, make sure that we were honest with them. I'm Patrick! My name means toaster in Celtic. So that was my job, is to make sure that they he always looked who he was supposed to be, and all of the characters, Patrick, SpongeBob, Plankton, Mr. Krabs, they all move a specific way. They all choose to act a specific way. And so we needed to make sure that that was consistent. And that was my job, is to make sure that everything was okay. Also to try to crack a joke every once in a while to keep him happy because it's a really hard job to do. On a des personnages qui n'arrêtent pas de changer en termes d'image, en termes de design. Et euh, c'est vraiment propre à la nature du show. Euh, on a beaucoup d'animaux aquatiques. On a du euh, deux bras, du quatre bras, du huit bras, des choses qui n'ont pas de bras. Euh, et donc, du coup, il a fallu euh, trouver des solutions en termes de rigging et d'automatisation pour, euh, pour faire en sorte que ça marche bien et que ça marche vite. En 3D, on avait besoin de créer beaucoup de latitude, euh, de possibilités pour le département animation, pour essayer de leur permettre d'être le plus créatif possible. Et donc, du coup, les contraindre le moins possible. When we started the project, I was expecting, okay, so the animators will mess with the characters and then we will render it the way we can, uh, as best as we can, and there will be a, a lot of touch-up and the end to correct everything that is broken. And in the end, it was actually technically pretty good, I think, and uh, we, it, wa it was going really well, so actually the, the, the renders of the characters were pretty clean and uh, yeah, it went, it went pretty nicely. Du coup, avec euh, Mathieu Roussel et avec euh, Jacques, et bien sûr avec euh, Andrew, Rachel, on a passé beaucoup de temps un petit peu à essayer de trouver des solutions pour euh, savoir comment on allait appréhender ces problèmes-là sur les personnages et comment on allait permettre de prendre un personnage tel que Bob, 
euh, de lui rajouter des yeux à la volée, de lui changer la forme complètement à la volée et que ça se passe toujours bien à l'écran. Et ça, sans créer trop de travail à droite à gauche sur les autres départements. Et on a pris des choix techniques assez, assez audacieux, assez osés. On a euh, tordu un peu notre pipeline pour permettre justement de, de faire ce qu'on voulait faire, à savoir le choix de découper tous ces personnages pour détacher tous les membres et donner plus de flexibilité à, à l'animation. Enfin, je pense qu'on on doit être dans les premiers à faire ce genre de choses. So the key was to kind of try to get these characters to look like they were hand drawn inside Maya uh, by building rigs that would let us kind of draw inside Maya. And uh, we were more based on the final image than the structure of the character because it was very destructive on the rig, but the results were beautiful when you could see like those choices that the artists were making. Uh, they were based on a drawing instead of actually having to make it feel like it's, it's in a real world. So, and in turn, that did make it feel like it was in a real world because you kind of painted an image instead of relying on the 3D software, which was really, really excellent in results. It took us a long time to start kind of breaking our, our rule of, of it needs to look solid, like that it reinterpreted the idea of something that was meant to look solid by cheating it all the way and it, i mean the results speak for themselves they, they're very very pretty like we just played a big magic trick on everybody when it comes to that come on gary breakfast sur la partie caractère animation on avait entre autres euh, des choix euh, d'animation qui étaient assez particuliers we were doing a process called stepped curves and stepped animation it makes me feel like it was on paper i'm doing this gesture because you you would animate on paper and flip your paper And uh, to economize the amount of paper sheets that people would use, they would use, instead of 24 drawings a second, they would put 12 drawings a second because it was just as legible. It was just as clear to see it happening. Uh, we cut that down in half and that gave it that staccato kind of like poppy feel that you can find in uh, hand-drawn animation. On animait beaucoup en deux, en trois, en termes d'image. Du coup, on n'a pas une animation qui est smooth, on a une animation qui est stepée. Euh, et ça, ça a pas mal d'impact euh, sur des choix euh, de motion blur, par exemple, euh, où donc, du coup, en 3D, on va calculer le motion blur selon le déplacement des éléments dans l'image, sauf que là, on n'a euh, pas de déplacement dans l'image. Mais malgré tout, il faut faire du motion blur. On a donc décidé d'animer à la main le motion blur, c'est-à-dire de peindre du motion blur. Et là, on a décidé de faire ça en 2D. Euh, c'est ce qu'on a appelé des dry brushes qui ont été peintes à la main par des animateurs et qu'on a intégrés au compositing. Euh, tout ça, c'est des défis qui ont été super intéressants à mettre en place et, euh, et c'était vraiment dans le but d'essayer de rester le plus près possible euh, de cet euh, univers 2D qui est SpongeBob. Une autre partie qui était très intéressante, c'était la partie justement qui est très connectée, qui était les, euh, les smear frames. Toutes les duplications de membres à la volée, etc. Rentrer ça dans le pack pour faire en sorte que ça soit le plus simple possible. Et encore une fois, on a mis en place des solutions qui étaient assez chouettes, car on a permis aux animateurs de dupliquer n'importe quel élément de leur scène à la volée, d'en faire un petit peu ce qu'ils voulaient en termes de forme et de s'assurer qu'à la fin, en termes de rendu, tout marchait malgré tout bien. C'est une créative jungle et c'était juste une explosion de créativité. Il y avait beaucoup de. A lot of fun. So we made this movie uh, primarily for the American market. So since you guys are going to be the last ones to see it, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I guess it's just save the best for last, right? <laughs>